Nocturne number seven in G minor is a nocturne that has lots of really long lyrical lines. So we need to make sure that our tempo is not too slow and that it always has a sense of moving forward and over the bar line. At the same time, I think one of the most important things to think about in playing these kinds of pieces is to breathe often, not only uh, breathe physically, but also take a little bit of time between some phrases and never rush, but feel like there's a sense of taking a breath. In fact, in Chopin nocturnes and his waltzes, he often uh, will write a rest uh, in maybe at the end of a measure over both hands. And whenever you see something like this, it's like Chopin waving a little red flag saying, take a little time here and breathe before you move forward. In this piece, you'll see that same exact thing happening in measure 12. At uh, the beginning of the measure, I have a dotted quarter rest in the right hand. I have an eighth rest in the left hand. So uh, just don't rush into those repeated chords in the left hand at that particular spot. One of the most critical things in this nocturne is balance. We have lots of uh, rapid repeated chords in the left hand. So keep those fingers right on the key surface all the time very, very close, and see if you can keep those repeated chords as soft and sustained as possible. Let me just play the opening couple of measures for you. You hear how soft that left hand is. Then when the right hand comes in, in measure four, we have If I wasn't really listening to the balance of this piece, it would sound pretty dreadful uh, because of all these repeated chords. In fact, let me just give you a little short example of what it might sound like if you weren't really listening carefully. Let me start measure four again. Sounds pretty unmusical, doesn't it? So it makes a big, big difference if we have a gorgeous balance. In the middle section of this piece, again, I go from the minor key, G minor, to a parallel major. The mood becomes much calmer, very, very elegant. And so I would like to hear a rolling left hand eighth note accompaniment played very, very smoothly, and some beautiful shaping in those right-hand chords. In measure 37, we have this. At the uh, bottom of this page, in measure 53, in that ah tempo, the mood grows darker again. It goes back to G minor. And again, so expressive and, and beautifully balanced. There is an eight bar coda at the end of this nocturne. And um, one of the things that I did at the very end of this piece was to give this ending a little more color, a little more interest harmonically. We start off here, measure 73 with G minor going up, I throw in an A natural, which is not part of that G minor chord. And it's again, it's a long major pedaling. But then in the right hand, I have E flat major, and then left hand crosses over with C minor. So you hear that harmony, and you also, right before that, you hear, okay? So it blends these gorgeous, gorgeous colors, which is why it's so important to not change the pedal at measure 74. Let me just play that last line for you. <laughs> 